Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today we are just going to get to it. How are you going to grow your business with no money? Can you grow a business with no money? Now, first of all, I do have a disclaimer right here, right now, right at the beginning of this show so that we don't make any assumptions. I understand that it takes money to make money. I am talking to people who are already established in business, I'm not talking about brand newbies or people that are just starting up and are just starting their business. We're talking about growing. We're talking about you've already established and now you need to take the next step and go in the next direction. That's what I'm talking about here. So before we, so we don't get confused about the who, what, when, where of all of these things. I'm talking to established business owners already. You want to grow, but your, your funds are tight, right? You, you need to take the next step. You want to grow beyond where you are. I've got news for you. Great news. There's definitely ways you can start growing and improving on your business right now today, no matter what industry that you're in, by taking some of these steps. If you're just honest with yourself, these things will help you. So this is short and quick, right to the point, and I just want to let you guys know that. But the disclaimer is, if you don't have a business yet and you're trying to make rent money, you don't need a business. You need a job. You need to save money, build your credit, create a plan, open a business and have enough money to invest in that. It doesn't have to be millions, but I'm just serious about that. You can start where you are and use what you have, but you have to have realistic expectations about that. So I'm just saying that I, I, I was a shoe, shoestring starter, y'all. Started with less than $100 as a stay-at-home mom uh, trying to do my best to start and grow a business. Yes, it's possible. It is my story. But I'm telling you now, if you're thinking, I got to make quick rent money or, you know, I've got this car trouble and I need to, you know, fix my car with some instant cash. This is not an instant cash. This is a business. Now, if you and you have a side hustle and you want to like sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace or something, that's the fastest way. Craigslist, something like that, sell something that you own to get quick cash. But this is a business. Now that can help you in the long run, but not in an emergency situation. So just had to get that disclaimer out of the way. You don't start a business with no money. You get a job or you get credit or you sell something so that you can start a business legitimately. You don't want to have to start with nothing like try to build something that's instant okay just just disclaimer but it doesn't have to be a lot to start your business in fact you can start an amazon business you can start with as little as 500 dollars. although that's really really slim and it's going to be hard to work with especially if you don't have any training um but to get a really good start i recommend 2000 to 2500 dollars for the million dollar wholesale bundle method that i teach you can learn more about that at mommyincome.com but like two thousand dollars is perfectly fine to get your feet wet and actually start making decent money in amazon from a to z everything i teach you including my training um that that includes Includes the training that I teach you. Uh, so that is a great way you can get started with a business that, you know, you can have a really good head start. So mommyincome.com slash system for that if you haven't started. But this message is really for my established business owners. You've been at this for say a year, maybe even six months. I don't know. Everybody goes at a different pace and that's not, that's not a deterrent for um, what I'm saying here. Whether you started three months ago or three years ago or three decades ago, we all need to hear this reminder because a lot of people keep saying, oh, I just, I don't have any money. I can't grow. I can't start. I can't change without money. And I'm calling BS right now. This is the real reason we're here is to grow your existing business without spending extra money. Now, I believe that it does take money to make money. And sometimes you need to invest in your business. I'm absolute advocate of that. But there are times where you can invest something other than money. And we're going to pick it through right now. Because there's always somebody going to tell you, buy, invest, upgrade. Even me, y'all, I already just told you about a system that you can use in my million dollar strategy. Absolutely, of course. That's for education purposes. Everyone always wants a piece of the pie, a piece of your money. They want your dollars in their pocket, right? But honestly, you can grow your business without spending another dollar. Knowledge is currency, period. Learn more earn more learn 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 knowledge is something that no one can take away from you that even if you invest into a training program that is quality you will learn something what you do with that is completely up to you and not the responsibility of the educator but knowledge is something that you can acquire obtain and keep and use that you invested in one time if you buy a book and you read it 10 times you're utilizing what you've learned if you don't get it the first time, read it again. If you don't get it the first time, read it again. And then a second and a third. 
Knowledge is something no one can take from you once you have it. It is currency, something you can use to better yourself, to better your business. Can you go to a library and read a book? Can you go to YouTube and watch a video? Can you go to Audible and listen to a book? Can you go to Spotify or Apple and listen to a podcast? That's what you're doing right now. You're using knowledge and gaining more currency. But the distractions are everywhere. They are. Everyone's trying to tell you, you just need this tool. You just need this. You just need that. You need to buy this. You need to invest here. You need to spend more money on inventory. Spend more money on PPC. Spend more money on ads. Spend more, spend more, spend more. No. You're actually going to spend more. I'm actually going to ask you right now to spend more, but not dollars. You need to spend your time more wisely. 168, that's all we get. No matter who you are on this planet, 168 hours per week is all you have to spend. How are you spending it? Are you investing in knowledge? Are you investing in growing? Because growing doesn't always need money. I'm going to prove that to you by the end of this podcast. All right, now listen. Distractions are everywhere. Everyone's asking for money. Everyone's thinking they just need to invest, right? Let me tell you a little something. Uh, This exercise, you guys know that um, I just completed the Goldman and Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses program. Knowledge is currency. I can't even say that enough. I'm actually going to do an entire episode about the Goldman Sachs program that I went through and encourage some of you guys to uh, maybe apply in a city near you. It is so amazing. I am more wealthy from going to that program. And y'all, it was by application only and by qualification only, but it was absolutely zero money. It was education that now made me I would say 10 times more wealthy than I was at the beginning of 2023 before I started this program. That's how valuable knowledge is. Because guess what? You can't take that away from me. I invested myself. I invested my time into a program to learn and glean everything from people that are smarter than me. And I'm just better for it. So I'm just passing that to you. I'm saying, what are you spending your time on? Because the distractions are everywhere. Are you learning something? What are you doing with what you're learning? Because you know what, stockpiling it in your brain, that's all good and great and everything, but what are you doing with it? Like if you're gonna learn how to cook, you're gonna watch a cooking show on TV, but you're not actually gonna like learn how to cook and do all that, you're just entertained by that, that's great. But what value is that bringing? We're gonna think about the value of what we invest in. I'm gonna challenge that for you today. Y'all just remember, I'm talking to me, also so this is not at you that's with you i'm locking arms with you and i'm saying we what kind of value are we getting okay now i'm gonna ask you to do something really hokey like some people are like oh my gosh if you're like driving or walking your dog like don't close your eyes um but everyone else if you're able to right now please just indulge me for like the next minute and a half less than that probably just 30 seconds i just want you to close your eyes i'm doing it with you as well i want you to close your eyes for a moment Just take a deep breath. And then I want you to think about what makes you happiest. Don't judge yourself. Don't filter your first thoughts, nothing. What makes you feel truly happy? When is the last time you felt in your heart and soul that, ah, I just love my life. I just love this moment. I just love, you know, what are, what makes you feel like that or something that just gets you so fired up? something that you can't wait to do what makes you the happiest close your eyes and just give that some space for literally a whole uncomfortable minute i'm gonna make us do this for a whole uncomfortable okay i'll I'll limit it to 30 seconds but please just give it some space close your eyes forget everything for just a second just give me 30 seconds Okay, that was barely 30 seconds, I know, but that happiness, that thing that that lights you up inside, that fires you up with excitement, something that you can't wait to do, that you just imagined for this brief moment of silence. What was that? What 
is that? My next question is really going to kind of, this is the hug and the slug that I always give you, you guys, unapologetically. I love you. I care for you. So I'm going to challenge you. Okay? Let me ask you guys one thing. How many of you said social media? Did you say social media? That's something you cannot wait to do is scroll on Instagram or can't wait to get to your TikToks? That might be true. I, I'm really, I'm making a big assumption here, I guess. What makes you the happiest? What fires you up with excitement? Something you can't wait to do. Did anybody say social media? I did not. But now I'm going to give you that hug and that slug, right? I want you to have that happiness, that stuff that fires you up with excitement, things that you can't wait to do, and you can have that and get there. However, pick up your iPhone. If you have Android, there's another way to do this as well. Go to settings and go to screen time. So tap the all activity button and tap the day button. It's a summary of your daily app use. If you see more than 15 minutes of any social media app, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I'm going to leave YouTube out, LinkedIn, I'll, I'll put LinkedIn in there as well, Amazon app, shopping app. If you see more than 15 minutes on any of those apps, I'm telling you, you can grow your business without money right here, right now. I don't care if you're making six figures or $6. If you're spending more than 15 minutes per app on social media, and that doesn't align with what you just said, what makes you the happiness, what fires you up, something you can't wait to do, then I will challenge you. Use just half of your social media time to work on your business, half. I would challenge you that 15 minutes a day is enough to move your needle. I'm going to tell you how in just a minute, but I'm going to challenge that right now. Unless you closed your eyes in that 30 seconds and said, social media is what makes you the happiest. The challenge is to 15 minutes fast from, from that app and do something for your business and do it every day, just 15 minutes. So I'm not taking away your TikTok videos. I'm not taking your Insta Reels. I'm not taking even your YouTube. I didn't even include in YouTube in there because yes, YouTube is a social media platform and yes, they have shorts and yes, they have stuff, but YouTube is also a highly educational platform. So I am dis discluding that from social media because I don't believe YouTube is a social media in the way that we use other social media, right? Mindless scrolling of other people's business that you don't need to be in. Instead, be in your own business right? Just spend half of that time. I'm not judging you. I did this myself. I took a really good long look at my to-do list and my business and everything else I would really want to grow in this area. And then I took a look at my social media time and realized, eh, there's room for improvement. I'm not saying that we have to be perfectionists. I'm not saying that we delete all of our social media apps and that we think we're going to just go dry and go cold turkey. Let's be real. It's not happening, not in this age. But can you cut your time in half? Or can you just steal 15 minutes of that time? Just 15 minutes. Be deliberate about it. Now that we've addressed that we have a few extra minutes where we can grow our business without money, how? By spending our time more wisely. Spending that time. We just found some time. We just found it. So how are we gonna spend that time to invest it into our business? I'm not asking you to be workaholics. I'm not asking you to work 16 hour days. I'm not asking you and telling you that you don't need entertainment or leisure time or self care or any of that. I'm saying we all have more time than we say. So let's invest it in the place where we say it has value. If you listed your top five values right now, what you value most in life, I'm talking health, I'm talking money, I'm talking family, I'm talking business, I'm talking your house, I'm talking about your 401, I'm talking about whatever. Did social media meet the top 10? Yet how much time are we spending there? Just 
putting it out there. It's not a lecture. It's a challenge. It's a challenge that you want to be better and do better and grow. Then stop doing that. What value is it bringing? It does bring some value. Not going to lie. Obviously, if we're all on social media, it gives us something. But how valuable is that something you're actually getting from it? Is it just a distraction for you to not deal with your feelings? Not deal with the people around you? Not deal with your health? Not deal with something? Is it just a, a cover-up? Probably. Investigate that for yourself. There's no judgments here. It's just awareness so that we can do something about it. Now we've addressed that we have a few extra minute, minutes to grow our business without extra money. Now we need to focus on how to utilize that time now that you know you have it right? How do we utilize that? This is the big, I have two things jetting out of here in just a few minutes, but I just have two things. What do you really need right now? What do you really need right now to grow your business? And how do you know that thing that you really need is going to help you grow? If you just say, oh, I just need more money to invest in more capital. How do you know that? What are you tracking that shows you that the only thing you need is money? Or the best thing you need is money. And how do you know it will track? Uh, how do you know it will help you? Whatever this thing is. Maybe you need a little extra time. Well, we just found some. But if you need a little extra money, how do you know that? How can you show that that's something that you can invest in that will actually bring dividends? Inventory based businesses, yeah, we need money. But that's not the only thing that will fix and grow our business. How are you tracking everything? How are you tracking your progress? How do you, do you know your profit margin right now? If not, you can spend that time asking those questions for yourself. What do I need in my business right now? What do I believe will help me grow? How will that help me grow? How will I track that? If I have 15 extra minutes in my day, what am I going to do with it? That's going to move my needle. That's number one, asking yourself the questions. What do you really need right now to grow your business? And then diving deep into that. 15 minutes of your time can be spent on this. What do I really need right now? And just jot down everything you can think of. And then go back to it. It's like, oh, do I really need that? Is it really going to help my business? Is it really going to help my bottom line? If so, how do I take steps to get that thing? How will you track? Your, how are you tracking your progress to know that? What's your profit margin? How can you increase that by 10%, right? Okay, and the final thing here, it's just one and two, right? What do you really need? And number two is utilize the tools and resources you already invested in. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm willing to bet that you have software, a course, a group you joined, an ebook you downloaded, a course you bought, something that you're not fully utilizing and fully understanding. For my Amazon friends, do you have Helium 10 and Merchant Words? Do you know how to use all the tools in one or the other? You are literally a pro, you could work with them. You could work for them. If so, use your 15 minutes to learn something new about a tool you've already paying monthly for. Have you watched everything on Netflix? That's just entertainment, right? Like, have you watched everything, read everything, learned everything? You're tapped out, you've got, you've got it all. I don't know about you, but there's probably four or five books on my nightstand currently I haven't even opened yet. And yet I'm buying another book. We all do it. So I'm just challenging you right now. Utilize the tools you're already investing in to grow your business. If you're only using classic search on Merchant Words, go learn the other tools. Go look at the virtual shelf. If you know one or two tools on something else, then learn more tools. Go to YouTube, watch a tutorial, and learn something new about something you already have or own or possess or is in your possession, any of that. Start where you are, use what you have. Use it up, use it all gone. I'm saying this because this is what I need because the bells and whistles, they float across my eyeballs every day, all the time. Buy this, invest in that, upgrade here, buy this. You don't have enough, you're not enough. It's, it's all the things. 
use what you already have. So those are the two things. Those are the two challenges. How you grow your business without money right now is number one, take a little assessment of what you need right now. What's lacking? If I only had blank. Now in my Goldman and Sachs program, this is like my final thought here. In my Goldman Sachs program, there was one exercise that they came around and as we were doing a sex exercise, whoa, sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> um, goodness. Um, they said, okay, here, they're, they're, they're telling you, what would you do if you had, you know, $10,000 of that you could spend instantly in your business? What a name, like you have to spend it all right now. What would you spend it on? And they challenge us to write down a few things we would spend our money on instantly. Do you even know how to answer that question? If I came to you right now and I said, I'm going to give you $10,000 to invest in your business, you name five things you're spending that money on, or maybe it's all on one thing, but do you know exactly what it is, exactly how much it costs and why it will grow your business? If not, that's your first challenge. And then number two, take a stock of what you've already purchased, what you already have and decide, is this relevant right now for me? Can I learn something from this to grow my business right now? If not, take it off the priority list. If it's a subscription, cancel it. If it's not going to help you grow now, it will be there in the future. And if it's not there in the future, something else will replace it. It's not, everything is not urgent. What's urgent is how you want to grow right now. So that's the, the first part of the homework. The second part is utilizing what you already have. Make a list. Let me tell you right now, if you are not a designer, if you are not a digital designer, and you have Canva Pro, you could learn that for a month before you invested in anything else. Like Canva can do so much more than any of us really think. Now your designer people are probably laughing at me like, ha ha, yeah, we know everything about Canva. I don't. So that's where I can start where I am and use what I've got. I don't need another something, another app, another program, another coaching call, another, another, another. I'm going to spend the next three or four months utilizing everything I already have. Merchant Words, Helium 10, um, my wholesale bundle training. If you have that and you haven't watched every video, go back, learn something else, solidify what you've learned. Knowledge is currency. So I'm going to challenge you right now. Go change your business without investing money. Do you want to know more? Do you want to know how to do this? Do you want to get a step-by-step -step from me to look into your business to see where and how you need to grow right now to move that needle? I've got your back. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. Mommyincome.com forward slash coach. You can choose a coaching session and let me know about your business and I can help you clean it up and grow it just a little bit. Thank you, y'all. I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing at this time. I don't take that for granted. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. Book your coaching session today and let's get on with it. Life is too short to spend so much time on social media.